Hey guys, Frank Corona with Natural Surf Technique. And in the last 25 minutes, I've gotten three messages regarding how to practice a slide up at home um, or at the gym or something. And uh, I've taught all the different pop-up methods uh, from going to stepping up with one foot and keeping the other one back and uh, jumping to going to both knees to, you know, body style has a lot to do with it. A lot of people teach different ways. And this is one of the best ways that I teach because it keeps you from developing bad habits. So what I'm gonna show you here is how to practice at home. And this should help. If you're just doing it 10 to 15 times a day, it's better than not doing it at all. But what we're trying to do is get quickness, strength, fluidity, and put them all together. So this is how you wanna practice. So here I have a piece of tape, which is gonna represent the middle of the board. The two side tapes, your hands, okay? So using the floor, you don't have the chance to grab onto anything, so you're teaching yourself how to push off flat, which is ideally the way you wanna to go to your feet on a wave. So I'm gonna lay down on the board, uh, on the floor, as if it's the board, that tape's going right to where my, my sternum basically is. Now, I put my hands on the tape here. So from this position, I have my head looking forward. So I'm gonna start off by doing this. Notice my toes are down. The tips of my toes are on the floor. They're not spread out and where I'm off the top of my toes. My tips of my toes are on the floor. So when I lift, what I'm trying to do is pull down the middle and slide in to where my front foot gets to the piece of tape. So from this position, you're going from here, lift, pull forward, and then slide off the knees and the tips of your toes, and then come up and turn in. Notice my foot gets to the piece of tape right here. So you wanna practice that over and over again. Get the strength, get, get everything you need to make this feel comfortable. Then you're going to extend it by doing this kind of position where you're laying, same position here, laying down on the floor, tips of toes, everything are still down. Now I'm going to practice like your paddling strokes because what happens is we get in a position where our hands are one's here and one's back here in our paddling stroke. The thing that happens is most people will go to like this position. They'll put their hands in the first available position because they caught the wave and they're trying to rush. What happens is I do this and I roll a hip. That means my pretty much going to put weight on the other side of the board that I don't want. So what you're trying to do is put your hands in these positions, practice paddling fast. I don't have a lot of room here, but you're gonna get your hands in weird positions, find the middle, come up, and go right in. The jumping, the reason why I don't teach a jumping like I used to, because I developed this technique, which worked better for most clients, is when you come up, if you're jumping and you're pushing off the floor, you're teaching yourself how to jump up when the waves, when the board's dropping down the wave, there's already gonna be some space between your body and the board. By jumping up like I just did, you're creating more space and that board's probably turning a little bit because you have fins. If you jump and create that much space, there's a good chance you're not landing in the middle of the board. So the slide up teaches you to stay down the middle and keep your hips and everything low to the board so you have a better chance to get your feet in the right spot. So we're taking away that space. Now, uh, a couple other things to remind yourself is, look left, go to your feet. Look right. So if I'm here, If I'm in this position, I look right, like I'm looking down the front of the wave, and I'll put pressure on this side, so I'm influencing the right side to cut right. Now when I come up, I go here, and I keep going this way. So it's about toe pressure. But when I go with my back to the wave, I'm doing this as a natural footer right now, not a, not a goofy footer. So from here, if I wanna go back side, which would be going left for you regular footers, you come up, you're looking this way. Keep your eyes locked where you want to go. Practice pulling through, come up, and keep this open. Don't rotate. 
If you rotate, your board's gonna come back this way. You're gonna lose that rail and you're not gonna go left. So learning how to keep the pressure on one side and the other as you're coming up, like it's the rail going underwater a little bit. So anyway, I just wanted to address how to practice at home. That's gonna help you when you're not able to surf for five, six days, how do you maintain uh, you know, certain things in your body in the, in the memory department so when you're going up, you have confidence. So hopefully this helps you, but this is a great way. Um, I've seen the results from my clients and I know which ones practice compared to which ones don't. And hopefully you'll take this up as part of your practice routine for learning how to go to your feet better. And uh, that's it. All right, thanks guys. Frank Corona with Natural Surf Tech.